Welcome back, Danny. Two days in a row. This is very unusual for my recording style. Usually, uh, I record three videos in a row-ish, and uh, then wait a week to play again. But instead, back-to-back -back days. Maybe this is the future of, you know, playing once a day, and they say an apple a day, you know, keeps the doctor away. An Elden Ring a day keeps... The deaths away. We'll see. I, we'll I don't see. know. <laughs> we'll see. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that I do have some itemized uh, runes. I need eighty three thousand. Which can you do the quick math? That sounds like about uh, thirty five hundred souls that I need. Is that It's like the blind leading the blind, to be honest. I, I, you know, that, there you go. You're most of the way there. You just most need another, another 15,000. About. There you go. That, that's the best of our runes. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Is, yeah. Perfect. And I'm going to put one more in strength. Or maybe endurance. <laughs> do you know I what like I should do? I like that commitment. Uh, do I know faith? what you should do? Don't put it in faith or I can stop it. Right. Stop. I mean, yeah, strength is good. I mean, you know, endurance is, is okay. You choose, I guess. I guess I'll go strength. for endurance because it will also give me a little bit more equip load. Oh, I'm so indecisive. Arcane. I, no, the, the, the what? Did I do it wrong? Why did you just why did you just suddenly choose arcane? I don't understand. I mean, <laughs> that was part of the that's fine, debate. But... No, it wasn't. <sighs> oh, James it helps with all the bleed that. Look at this. That's a great start. Got him. Well, yeah, I mean, he didn't know what was coming. No, he didn't. Do no, you remember what didn't. you are doing in, in uh, Elden Ring? I am uh, trying to beat the game under a thousand deaths. And I think I'm on a hell of a good path for it. On a more localized level, do you remember what you're doing in this area? Uh, I believe I'm trying to find the two towers, like Lord of the Rings. Well, I'm not sure it was quite like that, but yeah. Uh... Ah, this is where I got going killed into... before. You didn't go in this direction. Oh, well, Interesting I choice. Died here. Carry, carry on. What do you mean I didn't go in this direction? I got well, killed. Well, no, you didn't. You never went through this door. I'm not saying you should carry on. This is what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna carry on. And you were saying to go slow, unless I'm thinking of something way. No, far. you just, you just, you just crack on. You just take the steps. Make yourself known to the locals. Well, that didn't work the way I intended. Why? What are you trying to do? I was trying, trying to, to get all those guy guys the at the bottom that like hustled around me and killed me. I wanted to kill them, but I'm gonna, I'm not gonna waste that death or that. Uh, it's not. It would be a death if I kept going and just wasted a whole bar. Of all right, we got this. Sorry for the waste in everybody's time. We're gonna do it the old fashioned with a bonk stick. Have you ever have you ever played with ChatGPT? Oh, all the time. Shit. I've, I've decided. Um, I've asked it to uh, write to Sonic again oh. about you, about James. Oh, did you do that already? Bonking his enemies in Elden Ring. Uh oh. So I will provide I will provide a nice Sonic to accompany this riveting gameplay. All right. Okay. Amidst the chaos of Elden Ring's realm, where danger lurks and foes abound, there is one fierce warrior who overwhelms his enemies with a crushing sound. James Heaney is his name. <laughs> a force to fear. With sword in hand, he charges forth. His foes he strikes with a deadly sneer. Their bones he breaks, their spirits crushed. 
No enemy is safe from his might. His blows rain down with lethal grace. Their armor shatters their hearts to fight. As James he dominates this space. So if you find yourself in Elden Ring and face a foe you cannot best, just call on James and with a swing, he'll hold your enemies to rest. That was a beautiful poem. And it well, really helped me, uh, it really helped me enemies. take it to the next level. I thought you'd like it, being a fan of the AI stuff. Oh, I love it. I love it. I've, I've, uh, played with it a couple different ways. I already told some of the stories to Morgan, but it's helped me, um, do some work. Ooh. So it writes, so it's writing, you know, bits of auditions for you and stuff like that, I guess, or? Uh, no, you know what? The, I told Morgan, I, I'm teaching a class, uh, for improv. And the first week I used it for my job, uh, one of the things that we were doing was studying straight characters versus absurd characters. And I asked them to give me a list of 10 characters that followed the you know, straight versus absurd. And it listed like some amazing stuff like Rick and Morty. And, uh, oh my. This guy's gonna kill me. Um, and like characters, like Rick and Morty I had already thought of, but I was glad that it also shared that with me, but it gave me the, um, God, it's hard to talk while I'm in big battles. Yeah, focus up and we'll come back to this. Have you seen Bridemaids? Bridesmaids? Uh, no, I've not seen Bridemaids or oh, Bridesmaids. It's a really Sorry. funny movie. Uh, it was from probably like 2000 like that and Maya Rudolph is in it and she is the straight character and Kristen Wiig is the absurd character and it's just basically finding characters like one uh, the audience is supposed to be able to vicariously see the world through the straight character's eyes and the absurd character is supposed to kind of like be the not the only sense of comedy but where the craziness comes in but they listed like 12 awesome, not 12, 10 awesome examples of these characters. Get on yeah, there. I mean, I find it quite useful for stuff like that, where you just want to get lists of things, you know, try and find out a bit of information. Um, it's quite good. It's, but I mean, I find when it's really powerful is when you just ask it to like create new stuff and the more specific you get the more interesting it gets right like so yeah if i if you very specifically said i want to you know write me a poem about james playing Elden Ring, dying a lot using a club then it'll write specifically you know so it's quite interesting the way it works but that's pretty good too the other thing we do a game called scraps and and i this is a little redundant but i you're you're uh listening to the story is very new um, there's an improv game. I don't know. How, have you ever watched an improv show? Like Not in person? person. I've seen I've seen many episodes of Bear Supply on YouTube. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> it's um, quite good. Well, I, like, Supply, I like you guys. Thank you. Uh, it's a really good show. I'm a big fan. Yeah. I mean, so. I mean, you're not as good as that Joey guy. He's quite funny. Book, he I is you, okay. really funny. He's <laughs> the best in the group for sure. Um, but. Uh, that's long form. Short form is like whose line is it anyways? Yeah, I used to love that show because there was the British version, but I've seen the American one as well. But, uh, my, um, I have a lot of friends that work on that show um, as stand-ins, which is so weird. But anyways, there's a short form game called Blind Lines, which the new politically correct term for it is scraps. Uh, and what happens is, is you get from the audience a whole bunch of random lines of dialogue. It can be movie quotes. It can be song lyrics. It can even be like something that is a text message. And you usually get it from the audience. And I was teaching that game also. And what I ended up doing is having ChatGPT. I said, give me 40 famous movie quotes. And it listed nice. uh, yeah. <laughs> like instantly 40 famous movie quotes. But it had like the number and then in parentheses the movie title, which didn't help. 
So I said, can and I, after it was done, I was like, can you remove the movie title? And it just repeated the list, it took the movie title off. And then I felt like I was getting too picky, but I was like, can you also remove the number? And easily. And then I just printed it out and cut it up. Well, that's why I like the fact that it understands what you're asking it. And then yeah. also um, the fact that you can follow up on questions like, and it's, do you know what I, what I'm looking forward to? Uh, and this, this might just be me. It's like, I think it's quite impressive as it is, but you know how like we were sold on Siri and Alexa yes. and how it's the future, you know, imagine that if you can tie this into a natural voice uh program of some kind so it sounds like a nut you've then literally got the computer from star trek like that is yeah the next and i gotta be honest i don't actually need friends at that point because yeah you need to <laughs> I, I'll, I could just have a conversation with that it's you know a, it can, i mean i just just fire you and morgan and just just get just get jack gpt to do all the videos jumped on. unfortunately do you think that they could really do as good gaming i mean that's i think gotta i be think i think light don't make away. me answer that question that's gotta be light years uh, away, dude. Maybe. We'll see. Um, should I ask ChatGPT how many deaths it took to beat Elden Ring? How many deaths did it take for you to beat Elden Ring? Ooh. Ooh. As an AI language model, I am not capable of playing video games or experiencing emotions, so I cannot keep Elden Ring or provide a specific number of deaths. However, as a general tip, <laughs> the number of deaths it takes to beat Elden Ring will depend on the player's skill, familiarity with the game's mechanics, how quickly they're able to adapt to the challenges presented in the game. <laughs> how, can you do those things, James? Tell me. That was hard to it was hard to hear you explain that. God. Good. It couldn't get that couldn't get that one. So it depends on the player's skill. That makes sense. Well also your ability to learn and adapt to the challenges. My middle name's adaptability. <laughs> That's why I like to have all sorts of things in my hand so I can juggle it all. <gasps> Another beautiful painting. And this is the bridge here. It is. It, it's a nice painting, isn't it? You get a little um, thing for finding those, don't you? But uh, I don't know what never, little thing. Yeah, I don't know. I never followed up on it either. But you're, uh, you're in the, going in the right direction. I mean, I found just... the boss door. I'm just waiting to, you know. Oh, you found that, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I guess you weren't looking at the screen, huh? I was talking to chat GPT, sorry. Yeah, he's, that makes he's, sense. My Honestly. Oh, we can't birds. Watch the birds. Birds. Bird is the bird. I mean, sure. I want to know, right? Like, what maniac went around and uh, put those swords on the first? Yeah, just just attaching blades to the feet of birds. Like, who does that? Nobody does that. It's a bad, bad person. I like how baby baby bottom heen has run out of the dungeon completely <laughs> to, to retreat to the nearest bonfire we could possibly oh that was a 50 50 split between health and it uh, was but now choice. now that i'm going to fight a boss i think i'm yes, going to want to have a little extra um, health you want to load up on health it should be an so, easy run to the boss right i mean you know where you're going now yeah but um, are you still bit, are you still uh, abstaining from your mimic tear? Or I used it that... once uh, because I lost to a boss a couple of times, and um, well, after that, uh, the video was like an hour and ten minutes, and I didn't want to have to wait a week before I went there, so I used the mimic tear. But for the most part, I'm trying to avoid it. Uh, I, I did read some comments, and one of the complaints about the Mimic Tear is not just the use of the Mimic Tear, but the fact that when I use the Mimic Tear, I hide. Uh, 
Which... Yeah, you just let the mimic to do it all for you. Well, I don't. What I was doing is I was using the toxic cloud from a distance. And I thought that oh, was so a... you, Yeah, you letting him get aggro and distracted by the tip mimic tear and then just doing range. Kind of, I yeah. mean, it's all the kind of thing I was doing. I mean, you know... What can I say? Anyway, enjoy Commander Niall. Okay, Commander Niall. He's a friendly chap. But he's brought some friends with well, him. Well, he's to brought play. friends too. Whoa! Commander Niall and, and, and the Chuckle Brothers <laughs> did not play games with James. Jesus. I have to, I have to admit, um, this is a this is a tough old boss fight. To be honest, it's it's not fun. Um, right. You definitely want to deal with the Chuckle Brothers first. Would be my really. Advice. I just figured they'd respawn every time. Mm -mm. Do you think this is the? It seemed like I opened this shortcut. Is this the fastest way to the boss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going the right way. Yep. And what, the, the, that lift is a shortcut that you could have dro dropped that lift back down. I mean, there's a handle you can pull, but you know, semantics. Yeah. The seconds you could have saved. The seconds I could have saved. But maybe there's. Oh, you know what? Speaking of the seconds I could have seen, there was something that I, I saw that there was a secret that I didn't go to. I don't know if it's a secret, but there's a second floor. In this place? Right here, that I can drop, jump off. Oh, I mean... Isn't that just the... Isn't that just the... Lo lo level down? I don't know. We can have a look in a bit if you like. Yeah, it seems like a waste. Niall would like a trap first. Alright, that was a pretty weak um, maneuver there. Yeah, my advice would be deal with his friends, keep away from them until they're dealt with. You. Because then you're only going about higher. In with the rocks. Come on, please. See, this, is a, this is actually quite good because, well, I mean, apart from the fact that you just take him shots to the face, because you, you you kept him kept him kept him apart a little bit there, which was it know, would have been good. good. Just be wary of mine because there's, there's, there's uh, a damage or whatever they call it. This is a bad move. That that attack is so painfully slow, right? Just, you need to be quick in this fight. <laughs> Look how fast they all are. <laughs> Have you not got something a bit quicker you can, you know, do the end? Come on. You bonk it. The bonk people. Sounds like a great solution. Right? Too far. Do you, not, do you not want to heal? Or? I mean, I do want to heal. <laughs> but they're oh, coming he's for me. Oh, man. They're, they're not going to get any further away. You're in, a, you're in an arena. Just chug one and run. Oh, it's like watching the wacky races, this. I just don't, I don't know what to say. I mean... Here comes Santini in the Arkansas Duckerbug. Oh! Oh! oh God! <laughs> Bob boy! Bob boy! Thank you. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> Just the gangbang from the three of them. <laughs> yeah, that was not it's good. It <laughs> was not good. But if he's oh, going to summon, need, need I can fast summon. You know what I mean? Don't don't fall back on. Yeah, summon something. Yeah, I'm not going to summon the them. Don't worry. <gasps> you know what? Because you do want to try and keep one of them distracted while you then deal with the other one. Trying yeah. to take all three of them on at once. Uh, but but when you went in there, you probably noticed that you managed to aggro one of them uh, while the others were still slowly moving towards you. That's good because then you've got a little bit of a window to try and deal with one, then deal with the next one. 
what you don't want to do is get them all pissed off and then just like <laughs> jumble in all together because uh, that's that's when bad stuff happens you know yeah, I'm trying I'm, to sound like honestly, I know what I'm talking I'm about. Pretty I have sure beat this that this boss. is this is it. Like I I think having these guys with me is going to make it pretty easy. Uh, I, it's going to be like how many licks does it take to get to the center of Commander Nils' head? <laughs> one with the back of a hammer, you know what I mean? Just one lick. <gasps> oh, that's the mimic tier. That's not what wow. I meant to do. I thought I just switched it. I mean, have a go with the Mimic Tear. I think you'll die anyway. So uh, no way. Yourself. I mean, this is going to be too easy. No, you're going to die. <laughs> this is a rough boss, James. You're going to die. There's no way I'm going to die. This Mimic Tear is so overpowered. You're going to die. Did I not switch it to the towers? I mean, the jury, the jury, the jury's out on whether you've done this intentionally or not. But now, now you're here. You know. Hey, okay, back it up, back it up. No, 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 no. He's gonna frostbite me for sure. Yep. Be wary as well that with his shield out, it's uh, you know. But yeah, I would be careful of getting frost frost frostbite. And command denial when he's doing that big whirlwind uh -oh. and stuff. That'll that'll be like, you know. Stay out, of the, stay out of the mist. We're waiting heavy now on the cheese. Okay, well I got one. It's cheese on toast for James right now. Got three flasks left and look at all this mist. This icicle fog. Not what I meant to do. Ugh. James has a few, few too many drinks there. Is he drunk? We'll never know. Now he's just got one more of the Chuckle Brothers to deal with. There goes Bob Chuckle. What is this guy going to do now? But Commander, Commander Niall is pissed. He's going to teach Baby Bottom James a lesson. I think he will. Okay. Oh, that's fast. Oh no no! Oh. Well, I told you you would die. I mean, that sucked. That's two deaths. I should write that down. It's hard for me to track. I, I, I thought that I switched it to the... I, I don't know what I did. Even with the assistance of the Mimic Tear, that was a rough boss. You got him to halfway health and then died. I told you that he's not for the faint of heart, this boy. He means business. I was treating with the respect that he deserves. Honestly, I feel like if I would have gone into that fight knowing I was using the Mimic tier, I would have performed better. Uh, I no, was caught I'm... by surprise. I wasn't it. I wasn't in a good headspace. Yeah. Fine, use the Mimic tier intentionally this time. No, I'm not using the Mimic tier intentionally. All right then, let's see how you go. What you, what what, uh, what what are you using? I'm using uh, the Tower Boys. Tower Knight. The Tower Boys. Shield Boys. Okay. I don't think I ever used those, so are they. 
Are they any good? Oh, they're great. They are great. At least it's three on three, I guess. That makes it a little bit fairer. I think robustness was for frost. Yeah, anything that helps against frost damage is potentially quite useful. And then presumably, like, the fire grease, if you've got some that you were sticking on, might be quite good. Yeah. And I don't I don't know if you've got any other consumables, but... Uh... Uh, well, I don't think that there's any reason to use anything except this. But grease up. You should always grease up before going in. Bingling, it's the tower, boys. Are these the guys that basically don't die unless you kill them when they're down? Is that, is that these guys? Wow. Made some mistake. You might want to switch on to the rest as well. Because you need to heal. Well, you will very soon. Doesn't want to do that. Okay. Just hang around with, with half health and. Uh... Oof! Yeah, I did a lot of mistakes. But you're not dead yet, or you've got frostbite, so that's, that's not good. But, uh... Oh, now you're dead. Let's run. Run. Oh, boy. Oh. Of all your boys died. That's a shame. Well, Niles had a serious amount of health. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Oh, but he's gone into phase two. Oh, well, while his friend is still alive, that's, that's not good, is it? <laughs> hey, heal it up. That's a lot of damage. Just take your time, right? Just repeat. Don't, oh. don't get greedy. Don't get. Don't do two attacks in a row. Just, just get get some damage on him and then get away. I learned that lesson with this guy. You can't, you can't chain. You can't start chaining attacks with him because he's too fast and attacks too hard. That's good, now get away, now get away, now get away. Oh, oh don't. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. I like, know what you're just... saying. Nice. Nice, that's, exa that's exactly what it It'll take some time, but just, you know, there's not much. Really... Nice, you got that's the riposte. It's a big riposte. It's one more hit, and he should be done. There wow. he goes. Commander Niall is down. Good job, James. Good job, wow. James. <sighs> Danny, that was intense. That was intense. That was third try, right? Did I lose track?
Uh, that was the third try, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I lost the Mimic tier, which is going to be me making it a total of three deaths anyway. Gosh. I think this is such a momentous occasion that I'm going to read a poem. A poem? In the realm of Elden Ring, where warriors come to fight and sing, there stood two titans of great might, Commander Nile and James Heaney, ready to ignite. With swords <laughs> drawn and armor gleaming, their eyes met, their hearts were teeming. With courage and valor, they charged ahead. Their battle cries echoed, filling the land with dread. But James had a trick up his sleeve, a move so bold it made Niall grieve. With a swift spin, he dodged Niall's attack, and with a powerful strike, he sent him flying back. And the crowd roared as Niall fell to the ground, and James Heaney stood, victorious and sound. His sword raised high, he shouted with glee, Behold the power of a true Elden Ring warrior for all to see. That's a really good poem. Uh, I feel good about that one. That, I don't I mean, want that to keep was, inflating your ego. <laughs> I mean, that's... I feel like it was spot on right, you know? I want to level up those tower boys if I can. I feel like I've gotten a lot of them. Yeah. These, oh, wow. What else can I level up? But yeah, he's t he's tough, Niall. He's, I mean, it was a. Uh, I think I, I I think I died way more than you did. I think I must have. I feel like I struggled with that one. I feel like that was probably a good ten deaths for me. That one. So. To do it in two deaths is not bad. Yeah, I mean it was three because that mimic well, tier. But uh, I yeah, really even if do you did think. Cheat. I no, think that if I would have known I had the Mimic tier and like went in with the plan to use the Mimic tier, I would have done that. I mean, any summons has the same effect of causing the distraction. I think the distraction is the main thing with that because when you go in with the three of them, you want to make sure that at least two of them are distracted somewhere else. Yeah. So you can, you know, if you just go in and all three of them mop you, then it's a rough time. But. And then, yeah, once you nail down his attack patterns uh, in the phase two bit, which you did, um, and once you stopped getting greedy, job done. Thank you. Are you going to use your little bubble uh, bubble cannon? I like the bubble. I don't know. The it's a, it takes the somber the bubble boys bubble stone cannon. nine. <laughs> like it's the bubble great. boys bubble cannon. It's great. Use it. It's good. I just want to make sure that I don't waste it. Bleed weapon. I like this dagger. Alright. Alright, I guess I will. I guess I will use it. I'm glad that your sense of fun has not entirely eroded away. <laughs> Have you, um, did you pick up the thing that was there? I think there was a thing to pick up after At that you defeat location. him. Oh, there's a, well, there's, well, there's a door you can go through, I think, which, which uh, unlocked. Uh, you're not done with I that can. area yet. I'm not? Uh, what more could there be? Well, that was merely to get through to the place we want to go. Alright. See? See where you want to go up there? Yeah, so I guess so. Yeah. Good. Pull ahead, both. It's a merchant. You're just another customer to me. You think you're so special, don't you? But you're just another <laughs> customer. I mean, th this merchant has long abandoned the stall, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> but hey, well. I, I want to play Dark Souls again, just so I can... Didn't You never beat think... Dark Souls 2, did you? I haven't played 2 or 3. Oh! 3 is I a know. close second. I don't know. I can't really call Elden Ring my favorite yet. Because I haven't beaten it. But I'm pretty sure it will be my favorite. Um, <laughs> Dark Souls 3 is just incredible. Here's the, here's the dilemma in which I f find myself. So... 
I enjoyed Dark Souls a lot. But Elden Ring, I absolutely adored Elden Ring. Like, by the end of it, I was like, yeah, you know what? This is... It's, it's, it's a nice blend of Dark Souls and open world adventure mm -hmm. and... Yeah, so... I, I want to play Dark Souls 3 because I'm told, uh, reliably informed, that Dark Souls 3 is, is the best of that trilogy, if you like. Mm -hmm. um, well, Dark Souls 2 has some good stuff in it, too, though. It's, it's not yeah, a bad game. But... In fact, it was my favorite. It, it, I, until I beat Dark Souls 3, I thought it was my favorite. But once finally conquering 3, it became my favorite. A lot of people tell me that 2 is a chore, and, I, you know, it's not very good and then some people say it's good and some people then say it's okay and then i don't know i'm a, I'm a bit and i've seen a lot of two because i edited a lot of your episodes <laughs> mm -hmm. so i almost feel like i've seen a lot of, of, of um dark souls 2 so it wouldn't be it wouldn't Maybe be as much of a, a surprise you know yeah well it, well that is the remaster isn't it because it was called the first single well thing, that right? remaster came out like it was still like a ps2 remaster and a PS2, PS3. Yeah. People, uh, who's, they're not going to remaster anyway. So, I think so they will remaster it again. Everything gets mastered over and over, doesn't it? I mean, that's what she said. But I, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I don't know. I feel like two is going to be a chore to get through to get to three. But I don't want to play three without playing two. I could do, I guess. The grand old lift of Rome. Is so yeah, so uh, well, you, well, you know where the grand old lift of rolled is, right? Yeah, right here. Mm. Now, but, 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 but. what? You only you only found one half of the two halves no, that no, you no, needed. No, no. I, I told you about half. the. Oh, you got both halves. Both well then, halves. congratulations. You're going the right way. I mean, I mean, it's, it's possible I, I don't have both halves, but I think I do. I'm glad you're unlocking the secret grand old lift of rolled entrance. This is a, this was a secret. Everyone was very pleased when I found the secret. So what do I do? Well, you need to go on the lift. You know when you did it? last time. Well, it, it's 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 not there, is it? It might be up instead instead of down. Oh, hoist medallion here is. There you go. It's weird. The other one looks like it's a lift too. So you found the whole, this the whole secret, thing is a lift. and the yeah. internet went wild, huh? I tell you what, I tell you what, James, an ovation like which you've never seen. Because I, I did it without hints. And then you go down instead of up this time, I think. Uh, the other one was down, so this one must go up then. Whatever. <laughs> What's Something weird like that. is the other one went down, but after going down, you were, up. you were seeing all of like the sky underground. It was a very strange down. Now, did you get well, to this is... area after the lift of Dectus? The lift of what? The grand lift of Dectus, is that what it's called? No idea. Maybe? Because uh, I'm really proud of you for discovering the secret, but I would have probably been able to figure it out myself because I've already taken the other lift. And I might have even figured it out myself. It's the Yerd tree, or it's a tree. I never remember which one's which. The grander tree. All right, so where on the map am I now? Oh, well, same place, just higher in the air. Are you sure this is not where the lift of roll just takes you by default? Because I'm sure the secret entrance to the lift of roll takes you underground. I mean, I have no idea. I just used the medallion I just got and went somewhere with it. But I'm sure there was two parts to that medallion you had to find. I, I have two parts. I'll, I'll check really quick. How great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got left and right. There you go. 
and Dectus. So yeah, you've done Dectus. This is the Halic Tree secret medallion. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Is, is, so you must be in the right place, I guess. I, I clearly have a bad memory. Um, that's well, fine. maybe, maybe not. Maybe what it is is I have to go the regular way before the secret way enter, uh, begins. Because you've been here before, right? No, I've never been here before. I've never been oh, here. Oh, in that case. Yeah, never been here before. I, I guess you must be doing the right thing then. How did you get... I don't know. It's possible that I don't know what I'm talking about, and I did take Yeah, actually, this is looking pretty good. But I just got that other piece of the medallion. Oh, yeah, and I've gotten this map piece, so I've definitely been here before. Yeah, go back to the Grand Old Lift of Roll. Should I first get this thing? Yeah, treat yourself. But, I mean, I, how are you going to get over there? I mean, that way. That makes sense there. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> So I'm going to go back to the lift. Please return to the lift. Maybe there's another spot to bring it now that it's up top. I, I, I can't remember if you can choose which medallion you present to the Grand, grand Old Lift of Rold, but... Uh, oh, it might be depend on which platform you stood on, yeah. Because that'll be the one you came up on. So if you go stand on the circle on the other side, that must be the one to go. Yeah. Down? I don't know. That's the normal medallion, right? Like that's that the looks one like that the normal just takes. One. I don't know yeah, which so... one I used last time. I didn't realize there was two medallions. These so you've guys, got, you've got, yeah. It's one hell of a contraption, isn't it? Like, the engineering yeah. effort that must have gone into the grand old lift of gold is quite impressive. Um, it would have just been cheaper to fit something by, you know, Otis or something like that. But, uh... more a little dotty duties maybe I can bring it over there well is this is this a new area for you I mean is this not where I just came from oh this is the other one to hoist well well this is the one you went up with are you sure I, I'm pretty sure but I might be wrong if he hoists up the same one again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. I'll be honest, I can't remember how I did it. It just happened to me. Maybe you have to equip that. I genuinely don't know. There's a way of doing this, James. And I don't remember what it is. Maybe you have to stand on the other one that you came down on again to go down again. So you go to the other yeah, one to go down. Yeah, because I think it did give me the option. I think I need to do the same one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't think it gave me the option the first time. Maybe I needed to go up before I went down. Oh, the audio just cut out. But you wouldn't hear that. It's back. Oh. So you can't use that one. Okay. So this is the one that I just did. Yeah, don't do that again. Oh, switch action, switch action. See, is that, is that not what you need? Like if you stand on it again. Oh my god, I didn't oh mean my to god. hit that. This is a nightmare. Oh. Aye, aye, aye. It's just going to be an hour of you going up and down in a lift. Aye, 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 aye. Well, in all fairness, most people probably thought I was going to be still at that boss. 
Uh, what's the name of the medallion again that you found? The Hillgad or something? I'll check. Yeah, the ha ha the Halic tree. Oh, audio cut out a second time. Probably the game just confused them why he's having to load the same two areas twice over and over again. So I think the switch action. Oh, hoist secret medallion. Yes. There you go. He's found it. Done. Just Thank say you. It's that's, the, that's, the, that's the switch action. That's why I was saying switch action. We wanted to switch action. There it is. This one's green, you see? It's a secret medallion. It's green. The envious medallion. I bet you go down as well. Uh, maybe not. It doesn't look like down, but maybe it's an illusion. The grand old lifter rolled. Needs its priorities checking because, to be honest, you know, at least at least it looks different this time. Oh yeah. This is oh, better. Oh yeah. Is... Snook Ruby. So this is a secret, huh? This is not like part of the main game. No, it 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 is. You needed to do that. This is how you you're actually progressing, which is nice. <laughs> um, because if I, you know the place where you were trying to get to to find the map, yeah. Uh, but you couldn't. Get, this is how you get there. Oh well, I'm glad that I didn't spend too much time. <laughs> and it was nice of you not to spoil it, but I would have been pissed. If you let me spend like 45 minutes looking for that road. Uh, I did subtly try to discourage you from that. Uh, you did. <laughs> you know. Anyway, yeah. Find your way through. Hidden path to Halleck Tree. I don't know if there's another way, because this is the way I went, right? To unlock this upper half of the map that you haven't unlocked yet. Um... I don't know if there's another way to do it. I mean, I never did find out, to be honest. This is just the way I went. Uh, it seems pretty secret. It does, but I couldn't figure out if there was another way to actually go where you were trying to go. So who knows? Maybe it's a secret you're supposed to find. I'm sure the pe the clever people in the comments will, will correct me. For talking nonsense. What am I supposed to do with that? Well, well, you're supposed to fight. Get ready for a fight. Be a fight somewhere. Could be an invader. Oh, I'm supposed to look for one of those little bloody things. I always found the beast eye quivers to be an odd uh, message. Yeah, it's it's a message somewhere over here. Oh, but let me go back. I know it. it, it it used to happen in Dark Souls as well, but then people tell me this game doesn't got anything to do with Dark Souls. Uh, no so I kidding. don't understand, you know. And Patches is in both, so... <laughs> Same universe. I know, go... Oh, what? Did you order the fried calamari? Yikes! What? The bully? Yeah, it, 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 the enemies kind of go up a notch in this area. So, would you say I'm Probably completely seems to be out of the tutorial now? I mean, you never truly finish the tutorial until you beat the game. But I mean, you yeah. you're out of the tutorial. When I told when I told you that you left the tutorial, that was the true time you left the tutorial. Everyone's been winding you up since then. Thank you, thank you for finally being honest with. Not just you, but the whole world seems to have been against me. Yeah, so I I, I think that was the one I would, where, yeah, when, when did you do that? When I was with you, and Yeah. You, you finally beat the tutorial. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. That that, that was the tutorial, uh, Dom. Yeah. So this is all, this is all the advanced tutorial. So you'll get through this soon. <laughs> That's to my death. I think.
To be honest, I think from soft games are just a never-ending tutorial on how to hate your life. You know, how to die an early death from high blood pressure. It's uh, it's intense stuff. I mean, yeah, I mean, when you're cheesing like that, it's, uh, it's, it's no problemo. Be careful of the sneaky ninjas. Lurking in the shadows. You gotta wake up earlier in the morning than that. Bye! <laughs> Did he just kill himself? Amazing. I mean, if you were facing off against the Heen machine, wouldn't you? I mean, I'd consider it. <laughs> this one has a light on it. I think it is merely set decoration. Maybe get a sneaky attack on the, the... I think this is what I'm going to do. Damn it. Yep, just going to draw attention to yourself because... <laughs> well, I'll let this guy fill up my, my blue and my... I wanted... to get a, a critical... Oh, he's still alive, huh? Barely limping for life there. Um. There's a grace. Good job. You've made it through the tun tunnels. Uh, you think this is a good spot to stop? Has it been an hour already? In like probably 55 minutes or so. Then yeah, yeah, why not? That sounds reasonable to me. Yeah. It's been 53 minutes. I feel like it might be a little short, but I don't know. It's great to end on a, we just, I guess you couldn't hear it, but we just got a new subscriber, Benjamin Burr. That's pretty sweet. Good job, Benjamin. Uh, good job, James, for not hiding the live stream. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> alerts uh, I, am i supposed to <laughs> i think it's great who knows great news. they're all <laughs> i'm just so hungry danny i don't know how i'm supposed to eat something i haven't had okay. money for uh, food for a while i mean let's take that offline but no, uh, yeah okay i, I think uh, this is the best time to talk about my lack of money for food what could somebody that's watching this that's enjoying this do to help me eat I mean, it's it's diff. I mean, the only thing I can think of personally uh -huh. is to donate you to our Patreon uh, yes. campaign because if they do that, then at least you know one dime of every dollar will go towards a meager meal for James. Oh uh, no, um, I I only go to Morton's Steakhouse is the problem, and the plates are very expensive. It's the only place I like to eat. <laughs> And you keep damaging them, so they keep billing you for the place. Yeah, yeah, and I keep bouncing <laughs> checks, so it keeps getting more expensive. <laughs> but I oh. love steak. Well, don't donate to the Patreon. He doesn't deserve it. But thank you very much for watching. <laughs>